Hi, my name is Frank O'Laughlin, amateur radio call sign WQNO, and I'm the Cape Cod and Islands District Emergency Coordinator for the Amateur Radio Emergency Service here in Eastern Massachusetts. And today we're down here at the Red Cross Chapter House here on Cape Cod, Cape Cod and Islands Chapter, using their basement, and uh, which is also part of the Eastern Massachusetts uh, region. And this is Jim Levitt. KC1KM, my co Aries colleague, and today we're practicing using a system called NVEMS, that's uh, Narrow Band Emergency Message Service and System, and uh, what we're doing with that is we can send messages back and forth to each other regardless of any public infrastructure, whether it exists or not. We can send messages whether there's no satellite, no internet, no cell phones, no repeaters, just a transmitter system and a receiver system like we have. This enables us to send text files or messages back and forth between one station to another station or to a group of stations or to an entire region like Eastern Mass Red Cross or the Eastern Mass Erie section which ironically is about the same geographical borders. So right now what uh, Jim Levitt has done is he's he's put an ICS that's the uh, for ICS uh, 213 general message form into his computer ready to send and you see basically it goes from the computer to the transceiver and it's got uh, basically a sound card interface modem called a signal link USB and that sends it out and we, we decode it basically the same thing on the other end. Now this program was created by a man named uh, David uh, W1HKJ and we thank him for his wonderful work making the system work for us and uh, right now we're going to have uh, Jim and even though the not the greatest clarity here focusing in on my own screen but we're going to have him send the ICS-213 general message for him. You ready to send that, Jim? I'm ready to go. Okay, please send that message. Ready? Ready. Fire. You can see it scrolling across the screen. And it's going to do a good job here scrolling. And when it's done, it'll bring up the message editor so we can change the file. And it also brings it up in a browser. And that'll come up, and there it is, the ICS-213. And we can print that, edit it, give it to our incident commanders, or whether it be our Aries people, public safety, or our Red Cross people. Now, this message form editor is also capable of doing many other forms, uh, including some Red Cross uh, message type forms and welfare and inquiry type forms. The beauty of this system is that we do not need any public infrastructure to do any of this. So we can have a whole group of stations, even if every communication system was out, whether it's a region, local, or even parts of the United States, and we can send these messages back and forth. So this is Frank Olafen again, uh, having fun with the narrow band emergency message system, and uh, hoping that we get more people involved and be prepared. So thank you for watching this, and have a good day.